Welcome to the Green Tea Machine. I'm your host, Sam. And I am Ryan, the other host. Plus, and today is a special podcast because this is our first ever Green Tea Machine. Number one. Number one, and it's special because we have one of our friends. Uh, hi, my name's Matt. <laughs> yeah, his name's Matt. Matt Chavin. Matt Chavin, and we hear, you heard it here, folks. And this is going to be a podcast, but it's going to be different because... Why is it going to be different, Ryan? It's going to be different because me and Sam have known each other for a long time. That's right, people. Growing up in West Virginia, it's two two gentlemen living their we lives. Like to, we like to think of ourselves as gentlemen, even though we're 19 and 19. 19 and 19. We've been best friends since we were three, and we decided just... We'll, we'll get into that later. We decided to make a podcast just to... Because we want to know what the world, how two West Virginia boys think of the world. And most people aren't really care, but we don't, we don't care. That's how we live. We're doing this for the memories. Memories. We have some we have some West Virginia memories. And not, not just about all the country boys. Because we're, we're not country boys at all. Matt is also from West Virginia. Tell us about yourself, Matt. Uh, hi, my name's Matt. <laughs> you already said that. But, uh... <laughs> I'm, I was originally born in Maine, but now oh, really? I live in West Virginia now. I didn't know that. And uh, I've lived here for about, I want to say, 15 years. I'm currently 19. So Matt and Ryan became friends in what? Middle school? Middle school, sixth grade. Was it sixth grade? Wow. We met each other in sixth grade, but we really started to oh, kick yeah. things off in like you eighth started, grade. So we had band together uh, band. all throughout middle school, and we both played saxophone. Yeah, but correct. Ryan hung out with this one girl, and I hung out with other people. And then one day we just started. Uh, it wasn't until like eighth grade. We had Spanish class first period. Yeah, we had first grade. period Spanish class together, and then uh, that was the day we we became best friends. In Spanish class. Yeah, Spanish class. Miss Polinar. And then. That's where you meet all your best friends. We said the Pledge of Allegiance every morning in Spanish, which felt very un-American. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Dude, I learned nothing from Spanish. Except I took for it for two years. I don't know if you guys took it for two years. Yeah, I took it for two years. The only thing I learned was como estas and las papas fritas. If you take Spanish from one to two years, what are you doing? Hey, let's be nice here. They'd what? probably be interested in Spanish. Words is not because it's too hard for my brain. <laughs> I really couldn't do it. Uh, I feel like Spanish classes are dumb if you want to learn an actual language. You gotta like know people that actually speak that language because yeah, uh, you have to do it a lot. You have to like you can't practice. Give up on it. You can't just learn like textbook stuff. Imagine if you only learned textbook English, you wouldn't be able to like be the most boring, basic person ever. Correct. Yes, you gotta you gotta be raised. You gotta you gotta have. There's things in each culture of each language that you need to learn that go along with the language in itself. We actually talked about this in my speech class. We said, does grammar even matter anymore? Does grammar matter? Yeah, like, if you're talking to someone and they're not using exact, like, proper grammar, do you call them out for it? Or if you can, like, what I said... What kind of slang? What I said was, if you can understand what they're saying and the point they're trying to get across... Well, if you're talking to... And they're not sounding like an idiot! (laughs) Talking to them. Depends who they are. If you're talking to an old person, you're not going to be, oh, what's, what's good, my man? Well, that's true. You're going to be talking just... It's like you talk to your grandparents. You don't talk like an idiot. Like some people. Not going to name names. But, uh... So, yeah. Speaking of grandparents, I went on a trip to Europe two years ago <laughs> with my grandmother. Oh, yeah. How was that, Ryan? That was fun. Where'd you go? Uh, we went to northern Greece, Albania, Macedonia, and Serbia. I bought On a scale of one ten. How was the overall trip? The overall trip. Uh, some parts were were boring. Um, we went in a lot of museums and castles and stuff, which I didn't really care for because I wanted to be out in the country, like exploring it, not just inside a museum. Reading about it. Reading about it. Well, like the I wanted to exploring. I mean, the, yeah, the castles were cool, but the museums were stupid. I just found a bench and sat there most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> like most things in life, you just find a bench. <laughs> just like Forrest Gump over That's, there. Yeah, just like Forrest Gump over there. We have a poster of Forrest Gump. Great movie. If you're, ever bo- movie. If you're ever bored in life, just find a bench and sit on it. Act like a Forrest Gump. You'll see lots of things. Alright, so anyways. 
we'll get into story. So we'll talk about stories here. And we got, we got some childhood memories, things we got to, all sorts of stuff. And, but we got, we got to talk about what is green tea machine? Oh, correct. And when you hear that, you're probably like, what? What does this have to do with anything? So, um, a few years ago, when Sam Warren was running track, <laughs> should I say this? He started drinking. I discovered the gri- <laughs> the Holy Grail, the uh, Lipton green tea. Yeah, not just any green tea. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor at all. <laughs> We're nothing. But if they want to pay, <laughs> third. if they want to pay us. But Lipton, if you hear this, we'd love to. Uh, yeah, Lipton. We'd love a discount on some green tea. I dude, I drink green tea over water. And then. Uh, once I found out Sam started drinking it, I started drinking it because every time I'd go over to Sam's house, he would always have oh, I always had green stockpiles tea. green tea. I had had it before, but I hadn't like you never uh, discovered it because of I, I never had like appreciated its greatness until like it's so good. I started comparing it to things, and I was like, "This is like the greatest drink ever." And you don't, know, you know, there was a time when I drank like. I'm not gonna lie, I drink like three <laughs> green teas a day. Three a day. I swear. That's There's a lot of sugar. Three things you need to survive food, shelter, and green tea. And green, green tea. <laughs> yeah, that is and 100% the, correct. The other half of our podcast name, Machine, comes from. That could be, that could mean anything. But, well, but we have a special we have a specific machine. name for it. So, we combine. We, we also enjoy the band Pink Floyd. And my favorite song by them is a song called Welcome to the Machine off their Wish You Were Here album. Shout out to Welcome to the Machine. Shout out to Pink Floyd. Greatest band ever created. Greatest band. So we basically combine two of our favorite things together, Green Tea and Pink Floyd. Just like that. Just like that. That's how we do things here. <laughs> and if you don't like it, too bad. Then you can, hey, there's the door. See you later. You can go get some green tea. <laughs> Buy me some. I could always use green tea. That's how Battle Cup Bible works, man. If you don't like a woman on our cover, <laughs> That's how there's the door. Get that. Get out of here. If you don't want just a woman on the cover of our game, get out. Well, the funny thing is, they were so strict about Battlefield 1 not having uh, women in it, because it, was, it wasn't historically accurate, and they were like, no, we're not putting women in the game. And then Battlefield <laughs> 5 came out. Oh, guess what? There's a woman on the front of our game. <laughs> Who cares, though? Let's yeah, be real. I don't care. It's just a video game. It's a video game. I don't care, but it's just the fact that it wasn't a big deal and then they made it a big yeah. deal. Made the devs. Cool. They made it. The developers. If you don't know what devs mean, exactly. they, they, it, yeah, they made it a bigger problem than it had to be. And like, Especially that one guy. People complain about everything with video games and the fact that they gave into it was what really irritated me. Yeah, that's why. I'm, let's not go down EA's rabbit hole. <laughs> I, could, I could shit on EA. EA. Okay. But yeah, I still buy their games. Oh, it's yeah. like every other because they advertise them well. That's another thing. Um, <laughs> That's all they do. We all play a lot of video games here. Oh right? yeah, the variety. Experience. We've been playing for years. We are currently sitting less than ten feet from my Switch and my Xbox. And that's right. that's kind of how I became friends with. That's how you became friends with everybody. Every- all your good friends in middle school. <laughs> like, hey, do you have an Xbox? Yeah. Hey, yeah. man, we'll play some Halo Reach. Sure. Halo Reach. Well, in eighth grade, Ryan and I, when we became best friends, we uh, we played Xbox together, and then he introduced me to Sam, and uh, Sam and Sam and John and all these other um, salad dads, and uh, I was I was quiet at first because I didn't know you were what to expect and or like what to say, so I was like, all right, and then I kind of rode the wave a little bit, and then. After a while, I kind of, I guess, came out of my shell and just started being the most annoying person ever. Like Matt would join the party and say hello and then not say another word for another hour until we said, Hey that Matt, what are you doing? I barely remember that. I remember it very was well. It was Call of Duty Ghost. That was Ghost time? It was when Ryan and I would do 1v1 versus, or 2, two versus 2v2. all bots. All bots. On the veteran. <laughs> that was actually fun. On Stonehenge. <laughs> Stonehenge and that one prison map. In the forest. I'm sure nobody knows. Nobody even has a clue what we're talking about anymore. Yeah, because it's pretty bad color. Pretty bad. Even though there's probably zero people listening right now. Oh, we got a few. <laughs> we got I us. Know Corey <laughs> is there. Hey, Corey. Sean shout is out Corey. listening. Corey hey, said he would. Hey, Hunter. Hunter. Hunter said he would. Hunter, shout out to Shout out to Hunter Miller. Oh, boy. I could. <laughs> that guy. The, oh, should we, should, we go, should we go down the rabbit hole of Hunter Miller? No. Let's not. That could be a whole... That could be a whole series. 
of me just trashing Hunter. And that's basically how me and Hunter are now on Xbox. He's one of our Xbox friends. We got a, what, what do we call it? A crew. Guess how much longer I can record for? 677 hours. <laughs> and that's what we're heading <laughs> that's to do, what baby. We're doing. That's the goal. That is the goal. 600 what? 677 hours, three minutes left. Good God. There has to be a world record for the longest podcast. Oh, we could, talk, we could talk about what podcasts we like and what kind of influenced us. Yeah. True. We're just trying not to be a copy of other podcasts. Yeah. Because that's what, it, I mean, a lot of people do that. A lot of people, they're friends, and they think that they can just do a podcast, which, I mean, we kind of are, but, like, the thing is, Ryan and I, we've known each other for so long, and we think that we're, 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 we're we not have, city boys. We have a lot of stories to tell. We got a lot of, a lot of decent stories, a lot of good memories over the years, and things to come. So, pre- so prepare your ear holes. Prepare your, get your green tea. Because I know you bought it already. You went to the <laughs> store, and you were listening to and this. And now you're back. And you're back with your green tea. You got Pink Floyd on the playlist. You got Pink Floyd blasting. Sounds like we're ending this podcast, but I don't want to end it soon. We're not ending. We're only at 11 and a half minutes. Yeah. We'll probably shoot for 20 or 30 for our first podcast. Right, Matt? Of course. Of course, Matt. Of course. Oh, Matt recently got back from the Army. I did. <laughs> Army, man. 19 weeks and... Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, in the middle of the woods, also known as Fort Lost in the Woods. Shout out, Missouri. No. So many shout outs. <laughs> if you're from Missouri and you just so happen to listen to this, I hate you. <laughs> oh, God. The weather there sucks. The people there suck. But, uh, just throwing shots at Missouri. I'm, I have never met a person from Missouri that was worth um, two cents. So... That's my take on Missouri. Worth one cent? There's, win, there's win there for no. Uh, there's win there for no reason, and. Um, like What's the reason for wind? It's not like just wind. It's like thirty mile an hour wind and, <laughs> in like twelve degree weather. So you're getting like a wind chill of like negative five, and your skin is like drying out on your face just walking outside. So. My dad told me when he was in the Air Force stationed in Montana, they would have negative seventy degree temperatures with wind. Well, with wind making it negative. That's, that's Montana. And I don't know how to go to Montana. Anna Montana. Shout out to Anna Montana. For sure. <laughs> Anna Montana, if you're listening to this, we're, we're your favorite. F- not a sponsor. Um, <laughs> we're your biggest fans. Miley Cyrus is starting to look like Hannah Montana again. Life is good. We listen to Pink Floyd and Hannah Montana. And that's about it. <laughs> Speak for yourselves. Just kidding. I can't even name one Hannah Montana song. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, what's the song with her on her intro to her show? Um, Best of Both Worlds. <laughs> Best yeah. of Both Worlds. Yeah, you know that, that was the end. <laughs> yeah, but that's what the song. That's all I remember. That's all anybody remembers. That's all you need to remember. That is all you need to remember. Six hundred seventy-six hours to go. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> oh yeah. So, uh, hmm. we're sitting here in my bedroom at my, uh, parents' house, because I'm only 19. And we go to college. Some of us do. Because we're not, <laughs> we're not army boys. We're not army men. Look, I'm going to college this fall, and I'm getting paid for it. That's right, you've thought about Shout out to the army. You've thought. Shout out Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Shout out, uh, Mattis, or... Matt's got fired, brother. Did he really? Correct. When? When you were gone. See, I've been gone for too long, so that's that's kind of embarrassing that I didn't know that. Because they did not pick you. I think he got fired. Secretary of Defense. Who's Patrick this? Shanahan. Yep. Politics is well, not... Well, shout out Patrick Shanahan for helping pay for Stop my college. Stop with the shout outs. This is not going to be a political podcast at all. For the most part. Because, uh, well, I mean, I can't. My knowledge of politics is... My po- my political view doesn't matter. <laughs> I thought it was just... My point of view <laughs> is... <laughs> <laughs> but we don't even care. We can tell. Fuck. Um, 
So, uh, The Last Jedi sucks. <laughs> <laughs> don't even get me started. <laughs> if, you like oh. that, if you like that movie, I don't like you, period. End yeah. of story. Um, we just lost our just, two fans. We just lost, like, half a person. <laughs> Not even no, a whole there's person. nobody out there that can honestly, consciously say to themselves that that movie was any decent. <laughs> Unless you're a Disney, you work for Disney. Unless you've never seen any other Star Wars before, then it would have been a good movie. Oh, oh yeah. man. But if you follow Star Wars, then it just basically poops on the entire series as a whole. Agreed. But we're still going to watch episode 9. <laughs> that is so true. Game of Thrones comes out in oh, four days. Yeah, yeah, uh, four days. I actually bought a Game of Thrones hat yesterday. Really? So I feel like this the first like two or three episodes are going to be all story building. And... Uh, I don't feel like it's going to progress until, like, later, like, halfway through. I had that How many episodes is it supposed to be? Seven? Six. Six? Six yeah, episodes. I'm pretty sure. We have to so look it up. Either way, six or seven, it's not going to start getting good until, like, three or four. Huh. You're wrong. <laughs> it's going to be good every single episode. I, I, you know what? I mean, it's always going to be good. You mean, like, really runs, good? But, I mean, like, it's not going to start getting, like, juicy, like... It's going to be juicy there first. Heads getting chopped off and, like... Well, there's been... You know the trailer? Mm-hmm. They've been saying that the trailer is just from episode one. If that's true, it they, haven't showed us, they haven't showed us anything from the last other couple seasons, and that's gonna be well. This will, this will be the first time that I'm watching Game of Thrones like when, when it's new, on. as it's going on. Yeah, he that's had how some I was. Uh, I, had to play some I think ketchup. I started my the first episode that I had ever watched was the end of season five when Jon Snow gets killed. Oh, sorry, spoilers. If, <laughs> sorry if you uh, are new to the show. You know what? No, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones yeah, by now, it's, it's about to be over. You deserve to hurt so, you there. Um, Corey, first first episode. <laughs> first episode I saw was with you. Was the first episode of season seven. That was yeah. the first episode I've ever seen. So I've watched. Oh man, when I watched Game of Thrones, it was in 2016, and I was watching it during school. <laughs> I was a junior in high school, like in class. And I just I was watching it in class. In class, that's how boring my classes were. I had nothing to do. Mm. I'd sit there on my phone, zone out everything, and just watch Game of Thrones. I was. I swear, this is. It was like nuts. Summer. I don't know. Two or three years ago, and maybe four. Um, but we were at on vacation at a ski resort uh, in the summertime, so it kind of sucked. But I was watching TV, and there was nothing on, and I saw Game of Thrones, and everybody else was watching it in my family, and I had no idea what was going on, but it seemed really cool. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna get into this and watch all the episodes after this. So I did, and then I watched season six, seven, and now I'm waiting for season eight. I remember watching the first right. episode. I had to watch the first episode like two or three times Wait, yeah. before I really got into it. I don't know why. I just once you get into it, once you get into it, you're hooked. Your soul is gone. You just got to get past like the half. You know, of the first season. you know who got me into Game of Thrones? Who? Well, I mean, my grandma for years has been telling me like, "Hey, Sam, you should, you should watch some Game of Thrones." She's like, "How old is she? Like your, 70. Your dad's mom? Yeah." My dad's mom watched Game of Thrones before I even knew what it was, really. So then I was like, okay. I got an HBO account from that one guy. <laughs> Remember? Uh, Don't should, say his name. Should we give him a shout-out? Because <laughs> <laughs> I still use his account, too. his first name. <laughs> you still use it? Yeah, I still use it. I'm pretty it. sure he changed the password, so he can't. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. Anymore. Yeah, it didn't yeah. work. Well, what was his name? It, still, it works if you have it logged. Like, I tried to log yeah. into my laptop, and it wouldn't let me work. Yeah. But I still have it on what my What was his box. name? First name. Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> If you're there, Andrew. Andrew, if you're listening. I just want you to know that there was like eight people on your account. There's like eight people. I don't people. even know how, like, where that started at. You, get, you gave it to me. I think it was my fault. I haven't talked to Andrew but since like sophomore year. Andrew, I hope that brought no harm on you if you're, if you're But anyways, to this. the first time, the first episode, you and me watched it together. You were on your Xbox and I was on my Xbox. And you're like, you're like I want to be the captain on this voyage, Sam. And you, you, we watched the first episode together. We did? Yeah. I, just, I, I, I don't remember that. We did, and you were telling me, like, well, this is this character. I, I didn't know names at the time. And I was, I was like, Matt, what is going on? Oh, they're going to use that to kill the ice dragon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's what that Before I even knew about the ice dragon. Well, yeah. So you got me into Game of Thrones a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. That's my foot. And then you got me into Game of Thrones. I got lots of I got my whole family into Game of Thrones. And now we're all planning on watching the, the first episode of Season 8 Us on three. Sunday. Us three. I'm not going to watch Game of Thrones with my mom, though. Why? <laughs> For obvious reasons. Because yeah. of all the stuff in it? I didn't but, watch. dude, 
I got a story about Game of Thrones. I didn't want to watch it with my mom either. So my grandma, when I, when <laughs> I was in the Game of Thrones, my grandma and I, we were trying to get my my whole family into Game of Thrones. So one day, <laughs> this is a true story. At Thanksgiving, we we were like, "What should we watch?" Because we we're just like oh, after no. we after we ate, <laughs> and I forget who said. It's probably my grandma, but she's like, "Let's watch the Game of Thrones." I'm trying to get them into it. So we watched the first episode of Game of Thrones. And if you don't know what is in the first episode, mm. there is child murder. Attempted child murder. Attempted child murder. Incest. Incest. And uh, beheading. Beheading. That's in the first episode? There's a lot in yeah, the, the pilot. Ned Stark cuts off that other Um, There's the White Walkers are introduced. A lot of that dead girl yeah. hanging in that tree. Oh, oh, oh. Tyrion. Is in a whorehouse. Oh yeah, and they show tits and all this. And I was like, "What is happening? Like, what am I doing?" I should just left. I took a shower. I was at my grandma's house. I'm not just gonna go away and take a shower. If you ever in an awkward position, you should take a shower. Leave, take a shower. That is our advice. No matter where you are, just if just go take a shower. Things get hairy. Go take a shower. You just need to wash off the filth. <laughs> That's our. Our podcast advice. We're at 22 minutes. And if we keep it, keep it short. But, um, well, I was going to say something. Now I'm back to the thing. Oh, I was going to say, before we get into Game of Thrones and stuff like we just did a little bit, um, we're running through a lot of our material. <laughs> we're going through almost everything. We're almost done. All the stuff we we're planning on talking about for like multiple episodes to come. Oh, I can talk. We've already gone through. <laughs> but we still got lots of stuff because we are, all of us are Star Wars fans. All of us are Marvel Ryan fans. Ryan and I are Marvel fans. That's no, a little bit of that. I'm a Marvel fan, but I don't like. There's a lot of things. A lot like. of things. So we like. Uh, we're stand up comedian fans. Oh, yeah. For sure. The thing is, we're not. I'm, we're not afraid of telling the internet what we like. Yeah. We're, we're not... We like to think of ourselves... Because the internet never judges. I mean, who judges people on the yeah. internet? <laughs> judge us. <laughs> judge us. We... <laughs> judge us. Constructive um, criticism. That's what you do. Yeah. We don't care. Trash us. Hunter. If you're still here, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be a, a joke. An ongoing joke to... Roast, a little roast hunter. Oh, I have to. If I, don't, if I don't get my daily roast of hunter a day, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> I can't go to bed at night. I can't so get I'll, you gotta I'll, have, get I'll FaceTime hard and go. <laughs> Three in the morning. Hunter, you suck. Your forehead's huge. <laughs> and then hang up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, but anyways, so yeah, we're, we're Game of Thrones fans. and uh, But we're more than, we're music fans. Correct. But not rap. <laughs> We'll get into music later. We're like some rap. Matt and I, we we can enjoy some stuff. I do not. But we rap. enjoy classics. I enjoy everything. So Most things. I, I you probably don't like country. Not not saying country's bad. Country is bad, but not boots shooting boogie. I've been, <laughs> that's a great song. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been getting into some country lately. Some country. But uh, we got some metal heads over here. Yeah, we do. And they're trying to get me the metal. We'll, we'll get into that later. If it's got a guitar in it, I'll listen to it. I'll just put it there. A country song is. Well, not rap songs. Rap songs don't have they guitar. guitar in it. Not all of them. Not all of them, but some of them do. You're right. And I'll listen to it. And you'd be like, wow, this sucks. But, uh, yeah, we're music. We we play instruments. We, <laughs> well, these guys play guitar. I play the uh, controller. And the keyboard. <laughs> I play the Xbox controller and mediocre keyboard. Keyboard as in piano and computer keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's a double meaning right there. <laughs> and, uh, well. Um, Matt plays bongos. The bongos. I do. You, you own bongos? I own bongos. Like legit bongos? Like, like actual, actual bongos. bongos. Yeah, I spent a good amount of money for He it. bought a nice guitar. <laughs> guitar Santa. Is it just two bongos? Yeah. How much was it? They were like $100. Oh, God. For two bongos. I mean, I don't know how bad. It I don't appreciate good. my bongos enough, so. Uh, you gotta hook them on your drum set. But we're all, like, we like to stay fit. We're all, like, pretty much the same person. We're all virgins of each other. Virgins of each other. 
versions of, versions each, other. of each other. Matt's the big Our one. Ways. I'm the small one. Sam's the medium one. <laughs> I'm the medium. I'm just medium. It's like a steak. Medium like a steak. How do you get, how do you get your steak prepared, Matt? And I will judge Either you. Either medium rare or, yeah, usually just medium. Or no, medium Ryan. well. Medium well, excuse me. I used to get medium well, but now I get medium. Shame. What? Shame. What do you like here is rare? Medium rare. Medium rare. Get these out. I don't like my meat rare. Like, the only food that Medium will, well's fine. The only food that I will Shame. ever eat at, like, close to being raw in any form will be sushi or some mm. sort of fish. Next time. Or fruits. Get your fruit <laughs> medium rare. No, I like my fruit medium well. Well done. Have you had medium rare before? I don't think so. Next time you go, get medium rare. It's just a little... Well, my dad's like a health freak, so every, huh. any anytime we cook chicken or steak or um, pork or anything, he cooks the cooks, cooks the garbage out of it in a bad way. I tell my dad it's like, you know, steak. it's like rubber when you my eat dad, it. So I'm kind of used to that. I don't know if it's like a manly thing. Like I would much rather I could eat a well done steak way easier than I would be able to eat like a a uh, what's it called um, a rare steak per se. Yeah. I found out recently that if I eat really red meat, it hurts my tummy a lot. You're not a red meat guy. Maybe that's because I built up a that's tolerance. Just, that's just how people are. If you eat like yeah, if you're, really well, rare red meat or like, like all the time. Well, especially, especially, no, like when my, when I go to my aunt's house for like Thanksgiving or something, they always, my uncle is a really good cook and he always cooks like pork rib and he, it's always really red, but it's good. But if I eat that, it'll make my stomach hurt. Well, I work at a sub shop also known as Jersey Mike's, mm-hmm. uh, and we have roast beef there, and we cook it, like, in-house. Not a sponsor. And, uh, well, I mean, I'm kind of a sponsor, but whatever. <laughs> um, you still work there? Yeah, well, I'm going back to work oh. there since I just got back. But hey, if you want to see Matt, go to Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's in Hagerstown. Come Ooh. visit. They have, they have uh, one in, Mar- in Martinsburg now. Yeah, but that one sucks. Um, it's the same thing. I feel like we're talking it's, about... It's from, it's yeah. from the same... Like, so, the owners at that store were trained at my Hager, or not my Hagerstown store, but the, the Hagerstown store that I worked better. at. Yeah, same's better. But uh, it's basically the same thing, but Hagerstown's always going to be the best because it's Maryland. Mm-hmm. And uh, Trying to wrap up this. But poop, poop. Uh, being that we cook our meat in-house, sometimes it doesn't get cooked fully. or I don't, don't want to say it gets cooked fully, but like some, some meats come out rarer than other meats. Uh, or other roast beefs, being that even though they may be the same temperature, some cook longer, even when you take them out, and some don't. It's just it's just how meat works. But people will complain about their stomach hurting the way yours does, Ryan, when they have like a rare roast beef. Mm. It does. It makes me feel like I'm going to throw up, but then I never do, and then it goes away. I've had that where like it just like makes my stomach like just like cramp. Ugh. And that's why I get medium steak. But I usually survive. So anyways... Enough of the steak talk. Wow, we talked sure. about a lot of stuff. We got over. Yeah, not like some steak lovers. Um, so we'll we'll have more guests on this this podcast, this green tea machine. But uh, it's mostly gonna be Ryan and I. Now that Matt's back, we'll have Matt every once in a while. My sister, she wants to be on one. Oh, Megan Irwin. Shout out to her. What about your dad? Didn't you say one? Oh god, <laughs> my dad. If, oh, if we have, if my we dad, get him on here, th- it'll be a two-hour-long episode. It'll be about beer and, <laughs> and all sorts of stuff. We'll get him on. I want to ask him questions, like pretty. Can talk about Pink Floyd. Can talk about Led Zeppelin. Shout out to all these bands. But, all the uh, great bands. Yeah. So we'll just have a nice little. So I guess we're. Room. Wrapping up episode one. Thanks yeah. for tuning in to the Green Tea Machine. And uh, here's with the jingle, bro. Here's the outro for you. Hit it, Matt. Oh, so good.